After Greaser massacred the entire wedding party, including Phantom Bona's new husband, Daxter and himself laughed the whole way back to Rape Force One, while Phantom Bona followed behind them, crying like a little bitch the whole way. They entered the bridge of the ship to find Frankie and the Fembot. Uh, holy fucking shit, Greaser. That was some great A wedding pranks he pulled out there. Me and the Fembot were watching on the monitors after I serviced her exhaust port, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, thank you, Captain. Me got idea from Daxter. You guys really fucking slayed it, if you know what I mean. Me and the captain couldn't stop laughing. That's a real honor. We're proud to serve under you guys. <laughs> All right, you motherfuckers. Without any further ado, Fembot, will you hit hit the. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck are you crying about, you fucking pussy? You better not uh, short out on any of this expensive ass equipment. Yo, 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 I'm Sad AF. That was my third failed husband. I was finally gonna be a queen. Unless one of the other cunts I was married to were kings. I really don't remember. Yeah. Oh, here we fucking go, I guess. I guess we'll have to stay here until this emo dumpster fire gets his fucking shit together. <laughs> After not heeding Doc's advice and attempting to travel back in time before they blew up the Earth to save it, Rape Force is now stuck jumping from year to year in hopes of finding the parts they need to fix their faulty particle accelerator and Kugelblitz. It's a race against time. No, it's a rape against time. They're time rapists. Too Many Rapes is filmed in front of a live studio audience. While Phantom Bona cried uncontrollably on the bridge, the crew all snuck out awkwardly. When he finally caught his breath and realized everyone was gone, he made his way to the engineering room where he found the gorgeous Fembot calibrating the particle accelerator. Oh, Jesus Christ! I came down here to get away from you, dickless. And here you are again. Yay. Yo, yo. I'm sorry, Fembot. I just came down here to chop up and snort all the trilithium crystals. That's the only thing that can help me cope with losing my hubby. Yeah. Go ahead and try it. After the last time you did, I installed a high-powered laser array that will disintegrate you the second you touch one. Yo, yo, yo. You're smart. Yeah. But how do you do so good for yourself? You got the captain, and he never dies. Uh, cause, first of all, he's not some two-bit piece of shit like all the guys you fall for. And second of all, the only person who's ever going to kill that glorious man will be me. We have a pact that he won't ever die by anyone else's hand. Yo, yo. I kind of blacked out when you were talking, 
but could you give me a makeover so I can be as gorgeous as you? Then I'll get a sexy hunk of my own like the captain. Yeah. OMG, get the fuck out of here. I know I'm amazing, but you can't make a pig win a beauty pageant. The best you could ever look would be what my database refers to as a lot lizard. After the fembot told Fanta Boner to fuck off, he visited the rest of the crew who also did the same thing. Captain Tubestakes even threw rocks at him. He went back to his room and cried on the floor until his stomach started cramping really badly. He didn't even have the willpower to go to the bathroom. After evacuating his bowels on the bedroom floor, he was shocked to see the cummy shit pile of pulp start moving. He wiped it off with his trousers, and a familiar voice greeted him. I'm a bunga, bitch! I couldn't stay and listen to you cry like a fucking pussy anymore, and I had to get out of your shit pipe! <laughs> yo, 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 hamster! I thought you'd die with a space warden and Nazi. Yeah. No, I'm way smarter than that. I jumped right up your loose balloon net, and you never even noticed. And I'm not a hamster. I'm a teenage mutant ninja gerbil. Hero in your asshole. Gerbil power. <laughs> yo, yo. I black out anytime people talk. I'm sure that was a cool story, but I'm sad I never got to be a queen. You adorable little ferret. Oh, fuck you, you cunt. I'm a goddamn gerbil. And you were still recorded as the queen of the hens in that fucking Russian weirdo. When you get to the future, look it up in the history books. Yo, yo, yo. That's dope AF, poop mouse. I can't wait for my next husband to die. Yeah. You're a real piece of shit, Phantom Boner. Well, that's too many rapes. I'm a bunker dude! Yo, yo, yo. It would be too many rapes, but I still gotta do this. Here's one thing. I'm never gonna be a king. Yeah. I'm never gonna be a emperor or a pharaoh, but there is one thing I will always be. I'm always gonna be a queen. Yeah, that's right. Woman power. I'll always be a queen. Look at this. Yeah. I'm gonna be the best queen in the world and nothing's ever gonna stop me from being the best queen because I'll tell you what. Tell you something about kings, they think they're all powerful and manly, but they don't got what I got, and what do I got that a king doesn't got? I got a crown for a queen. Yeah, that's right. <laughs>